Job costing system characteristics include all but A. Product diversity B. High production volume C. Heterogeneity D. Uh, customized inventory and E. Higher cost of inventory So we'll go through this again, see if we can use the process of elimination So we have a job costing system characteristics include all but either a product diversity so if we think about that product diversity we might not know exactly what they're trying to get at with product diversity i'm going to keep that for now uh, we're looking for the exception here b high production volume so again high product we might say well that kind of depends i mean maybe some job cost systems have higher production volumes than others it kind of depends what we're comparing to here so we'll keep that for now well uh, c says heterogeneity uh, or heterogeneity so what that means is is difference meaning they're going to have uh, different types of characteristics within the inventory and we might see this contrasted to homogeneity <laughs> which is going to be meaning the same and the reason i'm going to use those two words is because sometimes textbooks will use those words it basically just means that there's going to be uh, products that are going to be much the same and products that are going to be much and uh, different in nature. So head row is going to be different in nature. And that's typically going to be the case for a job cost system because we're going to have different types of inventory. And when we think about a job cost system, uh, you'll note that this, this problem is kind of uh, contrasting uh, or implied contrast against the other system, which is a process cost system. So we kind of have to keep that in mind in order to see this. We can see that there's going to be diversity in a, in a job cost system. Some job cost systems might have more heterogeneity than others, but um, and some less. But when compared to other systems, like a process cost system, there's, there's going to be more difference in the types of inventory. So I'm going to say that that's going to be a characteristic. D says customized inventory. And again, we might think, well, customized compared to what? We might have a job cost system that's more or less customized. But in comparison to a process cost system, it, it's going to be more customized. And that's really kind of how, how we have to think about these things. And then E says higher cost of inventory. Um, and typically, we, we typically will because these characteristics all follow from the concept that we will have more differentiation in product products. And if they're more customized products, then of course, we are going to have higher prices for them, right? That's the point. In, in comparison to a, a process cost system, where our goal is to lower prices and costs by making everything all the same. So this one is gonna typically have higher prices. So we're left with A and B. Let's go through this again. Job costing system characteristics include all but A, product diversity, B, high production volume. So if we go as we go through this again, product diversity is basically the same as heterogeneity, right? They're going to be meaning there's there's difference in products. So if we take a look at A, C, and D, they all basically mean the same thing, right? A, you know, 